Hey everyone, welcome back to Prime 5, the 5 biggest news stories in video games in the last 24 hours, at least when it comes to Nintendo. If you enjoy this kind of content, be sure to drop that like, subscribe, all of that. Uh, we bring these videos to you Monday through Friday, and we have bonus videos on weekends as well. Uh, also, we have the Nintendo Prime Podcast tonight, live streaming over on the Nintendo Prime Podcast channel. Be sure to go over to that channel and check it out. I hope to see you guys all there. Without further ado, let's get into today's news. Our first story deals with that new Platinum that I got on PlayStation... F okay, no, actually, Platinum Games put out a update on Astral Chain. What? Astral Chain? What? Well, they're actually running a giveaway, a really, really neat giveaway, because they are celebrating the third anniversary of the game's release. Now, they're going to be giving away a signed copy of the game, a physical copy, by director Takahisha Tora. It's actually going to be a Japanese version of the game, but they are opening this giveaway to worldwide, so you don't have to live in Japan to enter. So if you want to enter, you need to go follow at Platinum Games on Twitter and retweet the giveaway tweet by September 9th, ironically the same day Splatoon 3 comes out. Link to the tweet is in our sources section in the description, and I wish all of you guys luck. This next story involves a sweet deal, but since we just talked about a giveaway, I think this is a good time to remind you that we actually have a thousand dollar giveaway going on right now. All new subscribers, until we get to a hundred thousand subscribers, are entered automatically to win a thousand dollars cash. So, isn't that kind of cool? But now let's get into the neat deal today, because today is the last day that you can save 10% on eShop credit. What am I talking about? So we often talk about game sale deals, but what about the credit with which we buy them, especially on the eShop? Our friends over at Nintendo Life have been running a sale with 10% off eShop credit, and today is the final day. In the United States, you can get $10, $20, and $50 variations of eShop cards with 10% knocked off the price. They have the same deal for other territories as well, and especially if you happen to live in the UK and EU. Also, if you live in the UK and EU, they have some special deals and sales on DLC and select games on the eShop in those territories. I'll provide a direct link to Nintendo Life's story on it down in the description because the story actually has links to all of the various sales. This is the last day. Who doesn't want to save some money on some eShop credit? We don't get these kind of sales very often, and I wanted to kind of mix it up from talking about our typical game sales, so why not actually talk about the currency with which we buy them? Because you can now spend less and get more. Isn't that cool? Now, tomorrow we have some new information coming for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. That's because a letter was sent out to several creators that stated the following. Dear trainers, we just received information about mysterious Mark shown on rocks and trees from Paldea's region. What possibly could be at the origin of these mysterious symbols? Join our social media on September 1st, tomorrow, to take part in our investigation. Who knows what we could find? There are some other you know, translations out there of this as well, because a lot of these letters were sent out to uh, other country content creators. There doesn't seem to be a U.S.-based letter. But either way, we're going to be getting some Pokemon Scarlet and Violet news tomorrow of some type. Maybe there's even a whole event built around it. I guess time will tell. All I know is I'm really excited for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And what I want to know is if you're going to buy these games... Which version are you getting? Are you Team Scarlet or Team Violet? This next story is a really fun update. You remember the game Nintendo showed off that ironically maybe describes my life? You suck at parking. They showed this off at an Indie Direct a long time ago, and we haven't really seen it since. Well, we have an update for today because a brand new trailer dropped. That's always exciting. Bad news, however, the Switch version of it, because it's on PC and Switch, the Switch version has been delayed to 2023. But the good news for that is that they are going to now have a physical release. There wasn't actually going to be a physical copy for it, but they just announced it today in the trailer that there will be a physical copy for this game. So you suck at parking. Looks crazy. It looks fun. Sort of describes my life of sucking at times. So, hey, you know what? I'm all for this great little blitz of parking cars. Who thought we could have fun doing that? Now, our last story here is a rumor. I want to clarify that. But it's a rumor that these sources seem very confident in. We're talking about Jeff Grubb. And we're talking about his co-running mate. I think his name is Mark, if I remember right. Either way, we're talking Nintendo Directs. Because 
He said with 100% certainty on his show yesterday, we are getting a direct in September. So, okay, we're continuing the direct. So what information could we get from these directs? Well, here are some notes I took from his show. I watched the entire thing just to make sure I didn't miss anything. And here's what Jeff Grubb says specifically, that he has heard specifically that Twilight Princess and the Wind Waker HD ports are going to be in this direct. Remember, he doesn't know if it's going to be a general, a mini, a partner, but because of this information, it makes him think it has to be a general direct because you probably wouldn't put Zelda remakes in anything but that. Also, we know how confident he is about Metroid Prime Remaster coming out this year. However, he didn't say he actually heard it would be in this direct. He's sort of assuming it will be, but he doesn't have any sources saying that Metroid Prime Remaster is here. He just uh, maybe hopes it will be. Now, here is actually the new bomb truck, because we kind of talked about Twilight Princess and Wind Waker coming to this direct before. He's not 100% sure on this, but the name of Breath of the Wild 2 could possibly get dropped. He thinks this might be a massive Zelda blowout direct where they end it with Wind Waker, Twilight Princess HD, and then a big new trailer for Breath of the Wild 2 that reveals the name. That would be very, very interesting. Uh, he's also heard it's happening the same week as Tokyo Game Show. However, another giant bomb person heard it's actually going to be next week. Either way, I think it's pretty safe to say that sometime in the next 14 days, the next two weeks, we're probably going to have a direct, at least according to all the rumors and speculation. Now, his partner on the show, Mike Minotti, who's also a video game journalist, did hear independently from Jeff about Twilight Princess and the Windmaker HD being in this direct. So there you go. That's kind of the information there. Do with it what you will. I don't know what's happening. I'm not the source for any of this. I'm just sharing it and I'm trying to hype responsibly. I hear Twilight Princess to Windbreaker HD, my hype levels already go up a little bit. I hear Metro Prime Remaster, my hype levels take another leap. Then I hear about uh, Breath of the Wild 2 name drop, and I just go, <laughs> like, I'm losing it. So I'm trying to <sighs> keep it keep it calm, keep it good. Catch you guys tonight, where I might not be as calm about this on the Nintendo Prime Podcast. Thank you guys for tuning in, and hopefully i catch you guys in our next video. Bye.